fireworks, the ultimate crowd pleaser. They may have been invented in China, but we Brits have been obsessed with them since Tudor times. Although 95% of our fireworks are imported, there is one British firm keeping us ooing and aahing. Kimbolton Fireworks in Cambridgeshire. They are the only manufacturer of display fireworks in the UK. It might not look like much, but inside this collection of sheds and steel bunkers is enough gunpowder to start a small war. Thankfully for us, founder and chairman, the Reverend Ron Lancaster, is only interested in delighting his millions of spectators. Nice day, isn't it? Beautiful, isn't it? As well as being a man of the cloth, the Reverend was a chemistry teacher with a fascination for fireworks. That led him to set up a small business, which, 55 years on, makes 25,000 fireworks every year. Today, Ron and his team are working on an order of fountains, or gerbs, if we're getting technical. The gerbs will be wired together to make a five-pointed star design. A unique blend of chemicals will, hopefully, create a shower of purple and silver sparks to be used in displays up and down the country. The first step is to precisely measure and gently combine the chemical powders. This is the store. It's only a small quantity of material that we keep for mixing. We keep the chemicals unmixed and just mix as much as we need for any occasion. Even in their unmixed state, these chemicals are dangerous, so safety always comes first. If you had a building full of explosive, of course, you could have a, a quite a nasty ex accident if something went wrong. The last man who wants any nasty accidents is pyrotechnician John. He's been working with the Reverend for years. Oh, we'll have to tell John, we'll have to tell how long it's been. <laughs> I'm getting to the age now and I can't even remember names. I don't know about <laughs> John wears a gas mask to prevent him ingesting the powder, which makes conversation a little tricky. OK, I'm weighing out each chemical individually, purely for safety. Some mixes can be very sensitive, so you just need to be careful. This is a metal powder. It's a mixture of uh, magnesium and aluminium. The exact recipe is a closely guarded secret, but generally includes a fuel source, in this case, shellac, oxidizers like potassium nitrate to help the fuel burn, and metal salts like magnesium, titanium or aluminium to produce jets of coloured sparks. In this particular mix, there's six in there. I'm just going to weigh the seven. The ingredients are then mixed together by hand. The risk of a stray spark means electrical machinery is banned. This process hasn't changed for thousands of years. The next part of the process is that John is going to put the powder that he's mixed into a paper tube. We call these things gerbs. That's a French expression, really, meaning a sheaf of corn. And we've always called fountains gerbs. I'm going to put some clay in the tube to create a choke in the end of the tube. A clay plug called a choke is added to narrow the hole that gases from the burning powder have to escape through. It's just like squeezing the end of a garden hose pipe. I'm just going to knock it down gently to firm it. Rubber tools are used to prevent friction, which could result in a spark. Not ideal in a firework factory. Next, the hand-mixed powder is layered into the tube. So I'm measuring this in quite carefully, so they all burn at the same for the same length of time. Just going to add a little bit at a time. And then gently firm it down. Once it's full, the gerb travels to the opposite side of the factory, where it's primed for firing. This is stage number three, and this is where we're going to bring these fireworks that have been filled in the other room, yes, to be moved into the next stage, which is priming in order to make it into a spectacular firework. 
It's Layla's job to add a tiny line of pure gunpowder on the top of each gerb. All she's doing at the moment is putting some varnish inside here, and then she's putting some gunpowder on that varnish, and it'll stick to it, and that will carry the fire from the fuse that comes in, and it lights the stuff inside. Gunpowder is a combination of three naturally occurring compounds, sulfur, charcoal, and potassium nitrate. It was first discovered by Chinese chemists in the 9th century, who were trying to make a potion for eternal life. Their explosive discovery had exactly the opposite effect. Not that working with explosives seems to worry Leila. Um, it's fairly safe, considering it's a firework. It's one of the, I suppose, safer ones, as you're not really handling too much gunpowder. Even so, they don't take any chances. The Kimbolden factory is built on a six-foot-thick concrete floor. Special blast compartments mean that any unscheduled ignitions are contained to just one section. Reassuring. But the risks haven't dampened Ron's enthusiasm. Germans say that once you smelt black powder, it's with you for the rest of your life. And, yeah, I think I've got that bug. There are just a few of us left who've been right through the old-fashioned way of making fireworks. Basically, all the firework manufacturers have disappeared in Europe because of economics, of course. A lot of fireworks are coming from China because they are very much cheaper. The company Ron started in a Vickers garage all those years ago is now the only maker of display fireworks in the country. I am very, very pleased, really, that we've made an achievement out of it, that's right, yeah. Yes, I'm very, very happy about that. Would I do it again? Probably. <laughs> With the individual gerbs primed for firing, the next stage is to wrap them and, times being what they are, add the all-important health and safety sticker. I'm using these two to put on a firework. It's a set piece that we call a five-point star. I've started one, just got to go and finish it now. Just attaching the gerbs with some glue and some cable ties. The next process is to use the pipe matcher and join each gerb together. This will allow it to, when we light it, we have the five-point star all burning at the same time. The pipe match can burn at up to 100 feet per second, the same speed as an F1 car, which means the five gerbs are ignited almost instantly. This is a bit of string coated in gunpowder, basically. If it's out in the open, it will burn slowly. As soon as it hits the plastic covering, it will shoot up and light it in milliseconds. And that's it finished. With the hard work done, Ron steps in for his favourite part, the testing. You're going to see it with, so I hope, a very beautiful colour, which is, you don't normally make, which is a nice purple with some silver sparks in it as well. We do a lot of testing, we have to. We have to test every batch. It's, it's got to work, it's got to be good. <laughs> OK, then. Mission accomplished. With the sample test complete, the consignment is shipped off onto site where spectators delight in seeing the team's hard work go up in smoke. <laughs>